In today's Eye on Entertainment, George Clooney has some interesting baby name ideas and some changes in the works for next year's Oscars. Yeah. CBS 2's entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez joins us now with those stories and more. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Pat and Rick. Now, after one of the biggest mix up in Oscars history, the Academy has voted to keep PricewaterhouseCoopers as the accounting firm. The accountants working Oscar night, Brian Cullinan and Martha Ruiz, pictured here, are out permanently. So new people will take their place, and a third ballot. Balloting official will be in the control room during the show to catch an error immediately if, God forbid, it happens again. Bob Dylan is finally picking up his Nobel Prize for Literature this weekend. The folk icon is making a tour stop in Stockholm where he'll privately meet with members of the Swedish Academy. The prize includes $900,000, but to get the money, he must deliver a lecture live or taped by June 10th, according to the Nobel Foundation. George and Amal Clooney are expecting twins reportedly arriving in June. And he says a couple of ideas have been shot down. He owns Casamigos Tequila, and he tells E.T., my wife says, I can't name them Casa and Amigos. That's the one thing I'm not allowed to do. He joked, it was just a thought. I mean, it's a family business. Stranger names have come out of Hollywood, you know. Gary Sinise stopped by our studios to talk about tonight's episode of Criminal Minds Beyond Borders. In season two, we're learning a lot more about the international response team. A really nice personal touch in tonight's episode with uh, Daniel Henney's character, Matt Simmons. He's Korean, and uh, going to South Korea is very interesting for him because he's got, he's got some family history there that he's never really kind of dealt with. You can catch the episode tonight at 10 right here on CBS2. Pat and Rick, back All to you. Right. All right. Thank you, Suzanne. We love that Gary Sinise, don't we? Yeah, he's the best. <laughs>